Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. For This is actually your bonus December reading. We're going to let the cards uh, decide what your reading is going to be about. And uh, so you have the Seven of Swords, the Golden Egg, and the Whale card here. Um, this is from the Tarot of the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle. Uh, I'm basically using this um, mega deck. But um, what I, fe I feel like for some of you, it's like you're trying to handle something with care here. I feel like you're trying to um, make sure that you almost don't screw up. So I don't really know, um, you know, we're just going to see what comes up here because I feel like some of you are like trying to be very, very careful. It's almost like walking on eggshells type of energy here. So we're going to have to see, like, again, that I think that's the theme of your reading is what, like, what are you trying to protect? Um, you know, where, where are you walking for, on eggshells and like, where is this leading? Uh, you start off with the Seven of Swords here. Again, Seven of Swords can be a card of lying, cheating, stealing, but it can be a card of like taking something too seriously. Uh, normally, the guy on the Seven of Swords, he has polka dots all over his cloak, and polka dots in the tarot uh, kind of represent needing to have more fun, needing to uh, not take things too seriously, needing to kind of like open up, right? And that's what I feel for you here, Cancer. I feel like there is a need for you to more like open up, and not take things too seriously, and invite more fun into your life with this seven of swords here uh you have the five of pentacles the three of pentacles the ten of swords and the high priestess uh, very heavy energy in this first row this could just be i mean you know to me past position is it really that big of a deal probably not because this looks like the energy that you are moving past here cancer again just like on the seven of swords this lady right here she has polka dots on her cloak, again, kind of saying, don't take things too seriously. Make sure you're injecting some fun into the things that you're doing in your life so that you can become more successful. Uh, very good card of like hard work, but Ten of Swords, High Priestess, Five of Pentacles with that Seven of Swords. I feel like some of you are kind of like coming out of the cold here. Uh, just in general, I'd say if you're like leaving behind or feeling left out of the cold in a relationship, I would be very careful of this high priestess energy. I'm seeing this more as you telling yourself stories about like what happened or what could have happened to cause this ten of swords here in the situation. Uh, and sometimes I think it's best if we either don't know or don't try to guess because we're usually wrong. It's like when you go through a breakup, Sometimes I think we tell ourselves all these stories like, oh, they did this, they did that. But it's like, did they really? Or is it just a breakup, right? Or what? And so what if they did? It's like, do you really need to know? <laughs> Pro probably not. So I almost see this first row as a situation where it's like you really don't necessarily want to know the details. But uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, let's look into this here. With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, I definitely feel like you need to come out of the cold here. Obviously, I do feel the Eight of Swords is saying you are the one that has to set yourself free right here. Again, there's nobody around her on the Eight of Swords. She's all alone, and she could easily lean up against those swords, cut her hands free, and take her blindfold off, and she could set herself free from the situation that she's in. But she needs to, you know, kind of realize that that's what she has to do. She has to set herself free. So for some of you, I feel like you need to maybe set yourself free from a situation. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords. Uh, I like the King of Swords. To me, it is an energy of being very, like having a lot of wisdom, being very successful. And I feel like you need to focus on that kind of King of Swords energy. He's very direct, straightforward, and kind of like to the point. And I feel like you need to focus on that. I do feel that if you're in a going through a breakup or a, se a difficult separation, it doesn't even have to be love. It could be like getting fired or anything like that in your life. The Three of Pentacles, I feel, is saying like there's something good that you can do. And I would do it. Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. It literally says, you know, this is like the universe saying, hey, you're good at whatever, X, Y, and Z, so you need to do it. With the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess, you have the Six of Wands here. It's a card of success. I do get kind of like a weird story here. I'm not going to lie, Cancer. If you're going through a breakup, it's like, you, you know, someone uh, could have been a jerk to you and you could still be seeing them as successful. It's almost like they haven't gotten their karma is what I'm feeling here. So it's like maybe you are witnessing someone not getting their karma. I feel that for all of you, even if you're not dealing with love. Here, uh, you could be dealing with getting fired or you could be dealing with a negative situation at work here in this first row. I see this as you kind of seeing someone else glowing up and it's like you are not. You know, I feel like you're kind of like one of those people over here in the background 
and maybe you're seeing your your enemy, your worst your your own worst enemy here on the horse. Someone who is who maybe did you dirty or maybe it's just a jerk from the office. <laughs> I feel like you're seeing them uh, kind of like glowing up here. It's interesting because your next card is the golden egg. It, literally a card that says, this is inside of you, this golden egg. It's like there is something that makes you special. There is something that is like a golden egg for you. Uh, a golden egg is something special that could be used to create abundance. It could be something that makes you special that could attract love into your life. You know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like there is something that could o easily outshine this six of wands person, whoever this is. So... You know, that's what I would say there. Um, it is interesting that you have the Justice card, Ten of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like hoping that this person gets their karma is creating a burden in your life with the Ten of Wands. So I kind of get the energy of needing to get away from this right here, this um, justice energy, needing there to be justice for a person or needing there to be a correction in the universe. I always tell people, um, you know, it doesn't really matter if you believe in karma or not, but, um, you know, to me, if you if you are, w like, wishing that someone gets their karma, they're not going to get their karma <laughs> because, because it's almost like it's up to the universe to hand out karma, right? It's not up to you. So if you're focusing on it, then you're just giving them free attention, free energy, and you don't allow there to be space for the universe to, to kind of, like, give someone their comeuppance, give someone their karma. So I feel the need to move away from this. It's creating like a blockage here, I feel, with the Ten of Wands. And it's like the second you release it, it's like, boom, I feel like, boom, they're going to get their karma. The Golden Egg, it, you know, I kind of always get the sense that this card, like if we look at it over here, you can see that the Golden Egg is in the middle, but that like the nest is all around it. There's all that fluff all around the Golden Egg on this card. And it always like kind of reminds me that Sometimes I think the universe is like saying, focus on this, like one thing, like a golden egg, something that makes you special. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on around you. There always is. But it's like, focus on what's important and you'll be successful. If you focus on this fluff, on the, you know, the nest basically that's outside of the golden egg, you're just going to get lost. So I kind of feel like this reading is asking to change your focus to something better here. You do have the page of pentacles. I do feel like this could be an apology coming in for you, but let, uh, let's dig into this here and kind of see where this is going. And with the Justice card, you have the Six of Cups. Turn around, gift from the universe. Again, uh, the Six of Cups asks you to not get stuck in the past. It is a card that says, you know, it's a card of nostalgia, but it says do not get stuck in the past. There's even a guy who is older, and he is walking away in the background there. He's like walking away from his childhood, but it really represents kind of leaving the past in the past, uh, which I feel like some of you maybe need to do here. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles focusing on the, the Golden Egg, right? The Ace of Pentacles focusing on the opportunity that is in front of you, focusing on something new. And with the Page of Pentacles, you have the uh, Judgment card here. Uh, I do feel like there could be an apology coming in for you with that Page of Pentacles. I just don't like this right here. It's leading to the Three of Swords. So I would be careful of anyone coming back from the past and apologizing right here. It doesn't look very good to me. Uh, for others, I feel this could be you, again, kind of seeing someone getting their judgment, which would be nice, but it, again, I feel like it's going to require, you know, literally your solution is this. It's Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Judgment. It's like the second you focus on your golden egg, the second you focus on what you can control is the second uh, that you will see kind of a person getting their judgment, uh, the universe balancing things out, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in your last row here, you have the whale spirit. This card says like you are, there is more to you than meets the eye. It's kind of like a card of diving to great depths. So I feel for a lot of you, this is asking, it is saying that it's like for you to heal from this situation, it is going to require you to dive to great depths. It is going to require you to kind of like go deep inside of yourself and figure out how to heal your situation. You have the ace of cups, the six of wands, and the Three of Swords here. I, I really feel like focusing in this direction is going to be the best bet. This right here is sadness and focusing on the heartbreak of a situation. But if you can just focus on like the good stuff and the opportunities that are in front of you, I feel like that's what's going to lead to a turnaround in this row. Again, you have the Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Three of Swords here. I would like watch your health. Uh, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, it is a card that says, you know, maybe you're going to want to stay healthy at this time or you should stay healthy. You should focus on your health, make sure you're not getting sick or injured, all those other things. 
But really good card, card that, that could say love is coming in for you, but also a card of happiness. I feel also when you focus on the golden egg right here, that this will be you. You will be the person on the horse. I feel like you, you're trying to create a flip here where you are going to outshine this person here. I almost feel like, again, the words that are popping into my head in your reading are like outshining the competition, <laughs> words like that. I feel like you are going to outshine, you know, look at all these shiny cards. Even this whale spirit is like saying when you dive into your depths and you focus on your heart, look, it's like shining at the top of the card here. So I feel for a lot of you, this reading is kind of like asking you to go deep inside of yourself and kind of more focus on yourself and what makes you special. And that's going to have you outshining whatever this other six of wands person is here in this reading. Uh, three of swords, I feel like we need to stay away from. So again, three of swords, I feel like would be, is the wrong focus. I feel like three of swords is focusing on being sad about something, focusing on being angry at someone, focusing on guilt. Like, I feel like there's a need to remove all that with the three of swords. Three of swords is a card of forgiveness. And it says you need to forgive a person or a situation, not to forgive them, but to forgive, to remove those swords from your heart, basically. Uh, with the war, uh, with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, love it. I mean, literally, like I said, this diagonal here is a victory. This is your inner truth coming out here, and it is also just, just a victory. The I always say that the sword is above the mountains here, Cancer, and it kind of says that no matter what, you will be victorious. So I feel like you will be victorious. Uh, with the Six of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's time to get to work here on focusing on what makes you special, focusing on what you have. Again, it doesn't matter what the situation is. It could be a love situation, a work situation, a health situation. It's like when we focus on what we don't have and we don't focus on that golden egg inside of all of us, like the thing that makes us special, then we can't grow. So I feel like this is saying focusing on the good stuff is going to lead to a lot of growth. And with the Three of Swords, you have the Four of Pentacles here. So again, <laughs> like I said, this is clearly what you need to let go of right here. Uh, all the burdens, all the worries, all the guilt, all the pain, right? All of that stuff. I would focus on this right here. Uh, clearly, there is success and victory coming in for you. It's like you have the Six of Wands twice. Part of me feels it could be a person who is outshining you. But once you focus on the right things, I feel like you will be the one outshining them. So, I, I, like, I would focus on that here with the Six of Wands. Uh, let's see, also, let's just ask, um, why not? Like, how you can uh, have your glow up here, uh, Cancer. How can you outshine these, you know, any haters or anything like that? Seven of Swords again. So, Seven of Swords says, don't take life too seriously. Uh, like I said, he has these polka dots all over his shirt. He's trying to handle something with care. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Kind of for you here, I kind of get more of that tiptoeing energy in your first row where it's like maybe you're tiptoeing around a person. Maybe you're afraid of stepping on someone's toes. And I feel like you need to not be afraid to shine. Uh, you have the fool. Take a leap of faith. So I feel like it's time for you to take some sort of leap of faith at this time, of course. And you have the star, <laughs> literally your glow up here. So I feel like you need to realize if something is possible for one person, it's possible for you. Uh, anything you want to do, I would just do it with the star card. Again, it is a card that says if someone has done something, then you are more than capable of doing something uh, with this star energy. She's like pouring water onto the land there, and uh, the water that's going onto the land is flowing out all over the earth. It's flowing everywhere. So it just represents that if some, if you can see someone is doing something that you want, then you can also do it, basically. But a uh, pretty interesting reading, weird reading, I would say. I would focus on something inside of you, like I said, that makes you special, some sort of talent, gift, skill, or ability, um, some sort of belief system you have. Uh, I would like, I would make sure you're not selling yourself short at this time as well. But I think there's like a victory coming in for you, so pretty interesting. Um, but I feel also, if you're hoping that someone gets their karma, that the easiest way to do that will be to glow up, right? To have your little glow up here <laughs> so uh that's what i would say here and i like i think that's your answer i would do you know i would focus on improvements any new opportunities three aces pretty powerful so i like it cancer but uh thank you for being here cancer really appreciate it uh, make sure to watch your sun moon and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time but thank you and definitely enjoy your month